Welcome to the first DraftSite tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be explaining the basics of the DraftSite user interface. To begin, let's create a new file. We'll click File, New, select the standard template, and click Open. Now, if we'd wish, we'd create a file. Then we can save it by clicking File, Save As. First, we'll select the location of our file. The default location should be the Documents My Drawings folder. You'll see other recently used folders here on the left, as well as any USB drives you may have plugged in. Then we can create the file name, and select the file type. It is very important that you select the R2007-2009 file type, as this is the file type that the CAM program is expecting to receive. Then click Save. Now let's take a look at some of the important toolbars. On the left is the Draw toolbar. In this toolbar we can select buttons which will help us create entities such as lines, rectangles, circles, and ellipses. On the right hand side we find the Modify toolbar. This toolbar has buttons which will help us to delete entities, create offsets, scale entities, create fillets, as well as trim entities. At the bottom of the window is the status bar. Here you will find buttons that will turn on and off different aids and guides that will help you as you draw. Above the status bar is the command window. As you draw lines, you will interact with this window by typing in dimensions or other commands. Next, let's take a look at how to add or remove toolbars. To do so, right-click on an empty space next to a toolbar, select Main, and then select or deselect the toolbar you wish to add or remove. For this example, I'll remove the Layers toolbar, as well as the Properties toolbar, to give us a little bit more space in our drawing area. Also, if you need more space, you can remove these tabs on the bottom by right-clicking and by selecting Hide Sheet and Model Tabs. Now let's add a toolbar. Right-click, select Main, and select Zoom. This will add the Zoom toolbar. To move the zoom toolbar, you can select the small dots to the left of it, drag it and drop it to the location where you would like it to be. You can also modify where an icon is placed on a toolbar. For example, on this toolbar, there isn't enough room for me to see the explode icon. To change that, I can right click on this empty space, select customize interface, select toolbars, then I select the toolbar that I wish to change, which in this case is the Modify toolbar. Then I scroll down to the icon I'm looking for, which is Explode, and I can drag and drop it into a location which is visible. Click OK. And now the Explode icon is on a visible portion of the Modify toolbar. Next, let's take a look at the drawing area of the draft site window. First, I'm going to select the rectangle entity from the draw toolbar. Now I'm going to reference the command window to see what draft size is expecting. It's expecting that I specify the start corner. Now it would like me to specify the opposite corner. And I've drawn my rectangle. Next I'm going to create a circle uh, in the middle of the rectangle. Don't worry about following along as I draw. I'll get more into depth about drawing in later tutorials. And there we go, I have my entity. In DraftSite, there are two ways to select entities. First, click, and then you can either move to the top left or towards the bottom right. By moving towards the bottom right, the selection area is marked with a blue line. If you move towards the top left, you'll notice that the selection area becomes a dashed green line. With a dashed green line, all entities that intersect with the selection area will be selected. If you click and move towards the bottom right with the blue area, you will notice that only entities which are completely inside of the blue area will be selected. To deselect an entity, simply hit the escape button. In DraftSite, you can open multiple files at the same time. On the top right-hand corner of the screen, you will notice a window-in-window -window icon. 
Go ahead and click it to restore the windows down. Then you can open another file. Click the button again, and now you will see both of your DXF files open. Double click on the blue bar to maximize the file that you wish to edit. If you are unsure of what a button does, you can use tooltips to find out. By hovering over a button, a tooltip will appear below describing the button's function. You will also notice a small description on the bottom of the screen on the left side of the status bar. If, however, you wanted to know even more about ellipses, you could go to the Help button, search the index for ellipse. If you double click on the result, you will get a help file describing how to create an ellipse in detail. Also, you can search through all the help files for all documents that contain the word ellipse. Beyond the built-in help file, you can also go to DraftSite's YouTube channel, youtube.com slash user slash DraftSite. Here you'll find many tutorial videos describing how to use DraftSite. You can also refer to DraftSite's Getting Started Guide. It's a 180-page guide that's available for free on the internet. Just go to Google, search for DraftSite Getting Started Guide, and the PDF should be the first result. So while Eagle Rock's video tutorials and other reference material will teach you everything you need to know about DraftSite to be able to use our machines, there's also plenty of other reference material if you desire to learn more.